Hello friend, welcome to our channel Math Universe 28 and in and in today's lecture or in today's video we are discussing that under root 2 is an irrational number or show that there is no rational number whose square is 2. So its proof is very simple and we prove it by the method of contradiction. So the method of contradiction is very useful in mathematics for proving theorems. So we are using also here also the method of contradiction. So we want to prove that under root 2 is irrational number. So on content on contrary suppose that there exists a rational number. I am supposing that there is exists a rational number. Okay. This is p over q. Why we are taking the p over q because uh, th this is just the definition of rational number where p over q are numbers in the set of rational numbers and where q is not equal to 0 and p q are integers okay the main point is that here p and q are relatively prime what is the meaning of relatively prime i mean that p and q have no common factor okay now let me explain with example for example if i taking any element 1 over 2 and i am taking 2 over 4 1 over 2 and 2 over 4 are both the same elements but we are considering such type of elements where there is no common factor. I mean 2 over 4, we cannot choose 2 over 4 because uh, there is a common factor 2. So we are taking such type of elements which are relatively prime. Okay, this is the main idea to proving the theorem. And p over q square is equal to 2. This implies p square is equal to 2 q square. Okay, now uh, we have assumed that q is an p and q are integers so q is an integer so 2 into q square is also integer why this is integer because we know that if q is integer that its square is also integer and if we take any integer and multiply this by integer we will get also integers okay this type of uh, uh, things uh, we discuss in algebra in uh, studying the group theory after that, thus p square is an integer divisible by 2. Okay, so we have seen that 2 q square is nothing but is equal to p square, thus p square is integer divisible by 2. Thus p is also divisible by 2. Why? But p square is an integer divisible by 2. How we can say that p is also divisible by 2? This is obvious, p is also divisible by 2. Because if we take an integer and uh, if we multiply 2 times, okay. I am take I mean I am taking the uh, square of that integer. If it is divisible by two, obviously the single integer also divisible by two. Single power is also divisible by two. So p is of the form so p is of the form is equal to p is equal to two m. Now p is equal to two m putting in this equation and we will get this two m square is equal to q square. What what does it mean? It means that it means that q is also divisible by 2. We are getting that p is also divisible by 2 and q is also divisible by 2. But we have assumed that p and q have no common factor. But from here p is divisible by 2, q is also divisible by 2. We are getting that 2 is the common factor of p and q. This is a contradiction. Therefore p and q both divisible by 2 which contradicts the fact that p and q have no common factor. So there exists no rational number whose square is 2 it completes our proof <clears throat> so thank you so much if you like my video please hit the like button and share with friends and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye